This is problem 44, chapter 3. A long jumper leaves the ground at 45 degrees above the horizontal and lands 8 meters away. What is her takeoff speed or initial velocity? B. Now she is out on a hike and comes to the left bank of a river. There is no bridge and the right bank is 10 meters away horizontally and 2.5 meters vertically below. If she long jumps from the edge of the left bank at 45 degrees with the speed calculated in A, how long or short of the opposite bank will she land? For section A, for a long jumper, the earth is I equals zero. She'll jump, land. Her initial height is Y equals zero. So initial height is equal to the final height, which is equal to zero. Because our initial and final height is equal to zero, we can use the range formula. The range formula is R for range equals initial velocity squared sine two theta naught divided by acceleration due to gravity. However, let's derive the range formula. The range formula is derived from change in x, displacement equals initial velocity in the x direction times time. She'll start from x equals 0 and land at x. So x in this case is going to equal r. That's the range. So the change in x, final x, r minus 0 is r equals initial velocity, the x component of the initial velocity times time. We don't have time. So how do we solve for time? We can use the time of flight equation to solve for time. We can use the time of flight equation to solve for time. That equation is final height equals initial height plus the velocity, the y component, initial times time plus one half acceleration t squared. And she starts at y equals zero and land at y equals zero. So zero is equal to initial velocity, y component, plus one half, well, let's say up is positive, and thus g is a negative. So negative one half g times t squared. Move g over to the left, one half g t squared equals the y initial t and if we solve for time t is equal to to the initial velocity in the y direction over g so the range is equal to the x component of the initial velocity times 2 times the y component of the initial velocity divided by g. If we break that velocity down in vectors, in vector components, we have dy equals the initial velocity times sine theta naught, and dx equals the initial velocity cosine theta naught. So the range becomes r equals the initial square sine theta not cosine theta not divided by g and using the trigonometric identity and that identity is 2 sine theta cosine theta equals sine to theta naught. I can put naught here. So this becomes r equals initial velocity square sine to theta naught divided by g. And that's the range formula. And that is only if y initial 
is equal to y finally. So solving the range for the initial velocity, the initial velocity is going to equal to g times r over sine 2, that's 2, 2 theta naught. And the initial velocity is going to equal 8.854 meters per second. And that's approximately 8.9 meters per second. Now we have the initial velocity. Let's go to section B. For section B, if she long jumps from the edge of the left bank at 45 degrees with the speed calculated in section A, how long or short will she lag? Well, first, we know that we have the initial velocity. We definitely need the time of flight to be able to know how far she land because we have to have the time to calculate her change in distance. So first let us use the time of flight equation to calculate the time. So because here we have y equals zero, she's gonna leave initial height zero and she jumps and she's gonna land at zero. Hy hypothetically she's gonna land at zero and then she's going to travel below zero to the landing bank or the bank across the river so thus she's going to travel negative 2.5 meters so she's traveling from zero and the bank is at 2.5 meters so she jumps from ground or she jumps from a cliff which is 2.5 meters high She's going to land on a cliff that is 2.5 meters below that cliff. So at the hypothetical level line, which is y equals 0, she's going to travel negative. She's going to travel a negative 2.5 meter. So her final negative 2.5 meters, the initial is zero, so we throw that away, times her velocity, initial velocity, 8.854 meters per second, and that is sine 45, sine 45 degrees, time, time, plus, or we should just call that negative, one half, 9.8 meters per second. G square. If we rearrange, we have equals zero. Solving for T, factoring and solving for T would be a headache, so we use the quadratic equation and time will equal to negative 0 0.319 seconds or 1.597 seconds. So we have the time. Time cannot be negative. So we're going to use the positive. So for B, we're going to use the positive time to find the horizontal displacement during the jump. So how far, she, how far will she land will be determined by the change in x equals the initial velocity, and that's the x component times the time. So her displacement is going to be 10.0 meters. How long or short of the opposite bank will she last? So she she will land exactly on the opposite bank, neither long nor short. <laughs>